Do you find yourself writing blog posts and you're stuck trying to figure out what keywords to add? In this video, you'll learn how to do keyword research for blog posts using keywords everywhere so you know the exact keywords you should be adding to your blogs to drive the most traffic for your website. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with our keyword research. So to begin, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed, turned on, and purchase credits because with credits, Keywords Everywhere will be able to show you the monthly search volume. And that's very important when you want to uh, find the keywords that are the most popular, right? So uh, let's just say we have a plant website and we're trying to write an article educating people around how to water succulents. So to begin the keyword research, I always like to just start off on Google with a general topic, a general term. Okay, so I just typed in how to water succulents. All right, I didn't think too much about this topic. I just added it there. And the monthly search volume is 6,600. Okay, so always keep note of uh, what the monthly search volume is for this, for whatever keyword you uh, searched for. And when you scroll down, you can see these very, very helpful widgets. I always like to look at the SEO difficulty. Uh, so the SEO difficulty, the higher it is, the more difficult it is for you to rank for this keyword. So I, I always like to focus on writing an article uh, with a, a keyword that's closer to around the 50 range if possible. Okay, but the search volume is uh, not too bad. And um, as we scroll down, we can see these additional widgets with keywords in them. So this is the list that you need to look at to find um, maybe better, higher search volume keywords than what you've searched for, or more relevant ones, okay, that better fits your article about what you wanna talk about. Okay, so under relevant keywords, these are the related keywords that are associated with how to water succulents. Okay, so how to water succulents without drainage, that's 480 monthly search volume, so significantly less, right? But this could be a topic that I can talk about within my article, all right? And if you go through here, if you see some keywords that pique your interest that you wanna save, just click the star. It'll be added to your favorites list. Okay, and you could even go to the next widget, people also search for. So this is another list that you could take a look at to see if you can potentially uh, make sure you are mentioning these types of topics in your article, right? So let's see, how to water succulents without drainage. That's the same as the first keyword here and under the related keywords widget, right? So keep that in mind. It seems like people want to know how to water succulents without drainage. And if people are searching for that, then I definitely need to educate people about that. How to water succulents indoors, how to water succulents from the bottom. Okay, so this one could be a good, uh, either a brand new page or a section on my article educating people how to water succulents from the bottom, right? The, the search volume is a little over 100 uh, per month, right? So that's pretty significant, and I want to make sure I'm mentioning uh, this particular topic. Long tail keywords is another great widget to look at to find keywords that are, you know, three or more words in length. So generally, these longer tail keywords have less competition and are very, very helpful to uh, mention in your article to make sure your article targets all of the main pain points that people want to uh, resolve, okay? So let's see here. How often to water succulents? This one has a monthly search volume of over 12,000. So actually, how to water succulents could be my main head term because the search volume is much higher than how to water succulents. How often, it looks like people want to know how often. So I'm gonna star that. How often to water succulents indoors? I'm gonna star that as well. How to water succulents without drainage? So it seems like without drainage is something that is common within this list here. Uh, but let's take a look at this search volume, 12,000, okay? Uh, so if you click on it, you can do a Google search and we can follow that same process, right? 
And look at this. So the SEO difficulty is 57 out of 100. So the SEO, SEO difficulty is less for this keyword and the search volume is higher. So that means I probably should use this as my main target keyword for my article and teach people how often they should be watering succulents, okay? Off-page difficulty is 52, on-page difficulty is 67. So it looks like um, all of these ranking pages have pretty good on-page uh, content. So it's important to go through all of this uh, lists right here, make sure I'm talking about all of these topics to have a very nice long form piece of content. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper as well. So you can click on this button to um, find long tail keywords, how often to water succulents, and see if we can pull some additional information. Okay, so let's just see what keywords everywhere finds. So how often to water succulents indoor, Basically the same as this second one right here. How often do you have to water succulents? Right, so seems like, yeah, often is mentioned on all of these keywords, but I just like to kind of see what keyword modifiers uh, I can save so like that I can add it to my body copy. Okay, outdoors. Okay, so how, do, how often to water succulents indoors? outdoors. So I can create a page talking about indoor succulents, outdoor succulents, you know, how often to water them. Maybe we can talk about how often to water succulents in the summer and in the winter. So very quickly, you can use keywords everywhere to find relevant keywords you should be uh, adding to your body copy and talking about. Okay, so this will give you very, very helpful guidance on how to structure your articles and really what to talk about. Okay, so go through here. And if you think these keywords are relevant for one article, add all of these keywords on that one article. Or if you see a particular keyword that you think you can create a brand new article for, definitely uh, do that. All right, so go through here. And another thing you can do as well is look at your competition. Okay, so it looks like this is the number one ranking page. So if you click on that, you can analyze uh, their content and click on the extension. And then you can click on organic ranking keywords. Okay, so since this is your main competitor, it's ranking number one, there's a reason for that, right? So make sure you analyze the content on your competitor's page and try to create an article that that educates and uh, informs your audience in a much more holistic way, uh, an accurate way, a better way than, than your competitors, right? So it looks like they are adding images. They are talking about different topics around watering, right? So containers, in-ground succulents, outdoors, indoors, so you see that, right? You see uh, indoors, outdoors, and we found that in our keyword research. How often to water succulents indoors, outdoors, right? So make sure to look at this list and add all of these keywords in your body copy, because as you can see here, our competitors are doing that as well. So let's see what kind of keywords they are ranking for. You can see all of these keywords and it looks like how often should you water succulents is the keyword that drives the most traffic to them. They are ranking number two. Search volume is over 5,000. Okay, so this one is a, probably the main keyword that we should be targeting if we want to compete with this article. Okay, how often should you water succulents? Go through here, and I recommend adding all of these keywords on your body copy because your competitors are ranking for them. And if you wanna beat them, definitely try to add all of these keywords in your body copy. Okay, so this is the general way of how you can do keyword research for your blog posts using keywords everywhere. Uh, start on Google, look at all of these widgets, find the ones that have good search volume that are relevant 
to the topic that you want to write about and check out your competitors, see what they are writing, look at the keywords they are ranking for, and make sure you are adding all of these relevant keywords to your own article. And if you do that, you will uh, rank as high as you can get that traffic to your website that you are looking for. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful and we will see you in the next one. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let us know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and if you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you and we will see you in the next one.